Hello folks. Um, shooting a video today. For, oh, first, uh, before I even shoot, the, talk about the video. I uh, just wanted you all to know that uh, there's going to be videos coming up pretty soon in the next week or two of uh, new commercials. But in the meantime, I just thought I'd post this video about my 1977 Dodge Royal Monaco. Um, if You know, I have a Facebook channel and I've had a couple people ask me to do a video on this car. One or two people have asked me to do a video on this car. Um, I bought this a few years ago in Alabama. No, Louisiana. And I haven't done anything other than uh, acquire parts for the car. Uh, but overall it's missing its engine. And, and that's the big issue, it's missing its engine. But at least I thought I'd show the car. I've never done a video really on the car other than when I picked it up. Um, it's a 77 Royal Monaco Brome station wagon. And uh, it's the last of the C-body station wagons from Dodge uh, in 1977. Chrysler did offer the town and country in 1970, oh, actually no, 77 is the last year for the town and country as well. They did do the New Yorker in Newport in 78, but the Royal Monaco was gone after 1977. And I, I had, I've mentioned this before on my channel, I worked for a dealership at the time and I almost lost my job twice over Royal Monaco's. One was where the car was uh, on the showroom floor, it had been in the dealership for over almost two years we couldn't sell it and when I went out for a test drive it ran out of gasoline and the salesman blamed me on that one uh, but I didn't get fired the other time was uh, this was uh, the Restucia family who also handled Wilmington Ford uh, managed the dealership I worked for and John Restucia the whole Restucia family was they were they had very high tempers and we had a Royal Monaco that we sold. And when the guy came to pick it up, and he really probably just changed his mind and decided he didn't want the car. Um, he said the car had dust um, on the front seat between the armrest and the front seat. So he wouldn't take delivery on the car. Well, Mr. Restucia flipped out. I almost got fired. I remember him throwing a cigar that he was smoking on the ground and jumping up and down and stomping on it, screaming his head off. It was actually one of the funniest things I ever saw. And, it's, and it served me well because I realized then as a teenager that people can be real jerks sometimes, so it's just better to laugh. Um, but anyways, long story short, I've always wanted one because of my memories of the Royal Monaco. And this is a really solid car, but it's, it's missing stuff. Part of the issue is, is that... Uh, a person had this car and they wanted to turn it into a demo derby car. They were going to put a Ford engine in it, so they took the 440 out to sell it. And then they took the front seats out, and then they took the middle seat out, and then they lost everything, and then they decided to sell the car. So now I have a half-assed um, Royal Monaco missing its engine, front seat, and its middle seat. I do have the rear seat, third row seating. Um, which is in really nice shape. Plastic all in here is kind of bad, but I can I can make that look a whole lot better. Um, tailgate itself actually operates. I don't know about the window, but I mean the door opens and closes the right way. I haven't tried it in the fold down because I don't have any electric power to the window, so I haven't tried rolling it down. But uh, yeah, I've been picking up pieces here and there for it. You know, like the windows, uh, sorry, back tail lights and side marker lights, but you know, what I'm, what I really need is an engine. It did originally have the 440. Um, and it's kind of neat when you see a, a Royal Monaco with a 360 and a, a 318 versus a Royal Monaco with a 400 and a 440. Everything is different. Everything is in a different position on the 440 and the 400 car. So I, I got to get a new wiring harness because they kind of mangled it when they t took the engine out. The suspension parts are missing as well. But um, overall though, it's, 
it's a really nice solid car um, you know even you know, if you just listen you can hear the door close I mean that's nice and solid so it's really a good base to work with and I am going to get this car on the road at some point um, but I'm just here today to let you guys see it um, for the first um, you know that's just it's just really a, a cool automobile the wheels are the same company that uh, sorry are the same wheels that were used on the Lincoln Continental uh, but with a different center cap and uh, they actually are not Royal Monaco wheels these came off of a probably a Chrysler Baron or a Dodge Diplomat or a, a Cordoba or a Charger um, so I don't really want to keep these wheels because they're not right and the center caps if you can find them are like you know five hundred dollars a piece so it's stupid to restore it with the wrong wheels um, the trim that's missing on the car I have fortunately been able to find actually I've got here a brand new rear bumper I was able to pick this out of a parts car a battery shield which is so hard to find on these cars from the 70s from Mopar people just throw the battery shields away and it's really kind of a neat feature on the car here's a bumper insert I got a couple bumper inserts for you know all of the uh, corners of the car and then seat belts I'm a thing I have a thing about seat belts I like them to be looking really nice so those I washed them and cleaned them up they came out nice but there she is yes she is uh, I, people would call her a land yacht I would think that this actually qualifies for that um, hard part to find are nice lenses sh bumper shock when I first got the car the bumper wasn't on the car didn't even have a bumper I had a spare bumper from my other two Royal Monaco's and I but the bumper shock is no good so you can see it, it won't fit properly it's been activated so it's it's garbage so I got to get a new bumper shock but uh, I like the bump the bumper guards too uh, are kind of cool I think one of the things in the back that I like is I've never seen a car with four one two three four bumper guards but it's got four bumper guards and it shares the same tail bumper with the uh, Plymouth Suburban or the uh, Chrysler Town and Country it's also got this spoiler air deflector to keep the windows clean luggage rack it's got the grip I don't know what the grip is for but it's cool I wish I could find new rubber um, that's the only thing that's prevented me from putting a new bumper on the car is that I'm missing or you know I'm kind of of the de debating that I don't want to paint the car because it's original paint and I did do something stupid or maybe I didn't do something stupid you let me know I put um, I tested this out with an adhesive wood um, I did a crappy job so I'm gonna have to pull it all off but um, I don't know I don't know what I should say I, I did a little test there too um, I don't know if I should put leave the old well I don't know what to do now actually so let you, you guys can comment um, anyways there she is you all take it easy more videos coming oh one last thing to show I did source a new hood ornament look at that nice on both sides